guys, welcome back. I hope that you are super, super good. So I am totally exhausted today. Hunter had me up at like 4.20 this morning thinking, ah, it's time to play. And he was doing it the night before as well. So I'm really, really tired. Um, <laughs> I know, I've been really blessed so far because he was kind of sleeping through the night, but he's going through some kind of nearly 18 months sleep regression and he's knocking me sideways a little bit. So if I look really tired, that's why. And then the other reason why I'm so tired is because I've been doing all these runs for Great Ormond Street to raise money for the kids' cancer um, society. And um, I'm nearly there. Like, I've only got 7.2 miles to go and I've done the whole first marathon. And then if I've got enough time, I think I'm going to put another one on it. So I'm going to run two marathons in a month. Uh, but let's see. But I am I'm extremely, extremely tired and I'm looking forward to some rest days over the next couple of days, hopefully, and a bit of sleep. Um, so that being said, what we're going to do today is we are going to do a reading specifically for you guys and your person on what their thoughts are about you. So we're going to go into their current energy. So I want you to go. Oh, got my book card box then um i want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to this one is the crystal visions and this is the astara tarot i've gone back to my really really old decks today like some of my first loves um in these decks crystal visions i found it the other day i put it i put it in a little tarot box someone bought me and i opened the box and i was like oh my god crystal visions so let's go deck number one um if you need me for video readings at the moment i'm doing 15 minutes half hour and email voice note questions the voice note questions are like a 24 hour turnaround uh, sometimes the same day turn around at the moment and they're only a 10 hour questions so if you want them let me know and um, i've also got spaces for videos and email readings and the turnaround on them is roughly about seven days at the moment so think about your person as we step into your person's energy let's go so what are they thinking about you let's see one two ah oh. So, Spirit's saying to me, as we're going into the cards, they are saying that there is a very, very great love between you. And the love that is between you uh, predates all, I'll just say it the way they're saying, predates all conscious society. So, what they mean by that is that this is extremely, extremely spiritual relationship. And no matter where you are with your person at the moment, and how difficult things are, how chaotic, chaos is the word coming through there is still a very, very great love between you. Now, that being said, you are potentially a little bit of a separation at the moment or quiet periods, or perhaps they're just in hibernation, ghosting, ignoring whatever behaviour your person is doing. And it's leaving you like you lot feeling like you're at a bit of a standstill and sure what to do over this situation. You guys watching are probably feeling a bit of, of, at a loss, feeling a bit betrayed, feeling that they've maybe took advantage of you or just hurt you whatever is going on with you guys there is the sense of really painful energy going on with you and your person hasn't been reacting very well to that so they have kind of just brushed you off at this moment in time just like that it's like you're really hurting and they've gone ah nah sorry see you later type thing and it's left you a lot feeling what did you do? What did you do wrong? Is there anything you could have done differently? And I want to make it extremely clear that you have handled yourself in the absolutely best way that you could. So sod your person and what their thoughts are over it all. Um, you are doing the best with the, the energy and resources that they have given to you, okay? Now, your person will come around. So for now, Spirit is saying, yeah, you know, they're okay. Then they're pretending to not miss you. But the more time you give it and the more space you give this situation, the the more they're going to come towards you and be like, I love you. I'm sorry. I miss you. And it is that divine connection that will bring you back together. And it's like a magnet. So at the moment, your person is kind of repelling that way. But your tables will, the tables will turn, spirit is saying, and the bond will bring you closer together. Now, a lot of you are hearing your spirit, guys, but misthinking mis that that is your conscious mind giving you... Um, certain frequencies and certain vibrations please know that your spirit guides are communicating with you um and if you're a little bit worried about whether it's your head or your um or or spirit we can have a look at that on um on some email readings or a normal reading if you want to do that so i can channel those messages directly to you from them or from your person in the higher dimensions 
We have this little bit of stagnancy going on around you and pretending that there isn't a problem with your person, cutting the situation off. Now, what's quite interesting here is the Queen of Swords is coming up in their energy. Now, know that we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but in Tarot, there was a Queen and there was a King. And the Queen of Court, the Queen of Courts, energetic call between you guys there psychic slip and um, the queen of swords is the bitch power she is the kick-ass i'm not taking anyone's shit and it's coming up in your person's energy at the moment and this is why i'm saying that you might feel that they've cut you off or haven't handled the situation properly and have made you feel like you have done something wrong there is underneath this a really really great love between the two of you so i'm going to just ask the question as to why they are acting this way why are they acting this way? Why are they in this Queen of Swords energy? Okay, so they're in this energy because they're on a little bit of self-protect. So what has happened uh, for them to act like this? And this is why Spirit is saying it's nothing you've done. It's not your fault. They allowed you into their heart a little bit. You really penetrated their heart. Um, you penetrated their emotions. Perhaps they were like at the very start, some of you guys, they were like, well, you know, this is just going to be what it is. I don't want anything serious. I don't want anything committed. But you penetrated their heart. You penetrated their emotions and they've pushed back on it. And it's probably to do with stuff from the past. And they're like, no, I don't need this. I don't need someone to love me. I'm strong, independent on my own. I don't need anyone that is codependent on me. Um, but it's a bit of a lie because actually they are very, very lonely. You know, and they're trying to fill the void um, in the way that they've been acting. So you've got close to them and they've pushed you away. So when we are looking, let's go back to the start of, of the specific question, their thoughts about you. At the moment, they're kind of trying to ignore it, but it doesn't mean that they don't love you. They're ignoring, uh, they're ignoring the situation because they've allowed you into their heart, it penetrated their heart, but there is a love here. It is a divine connection between the two of you and the pull towards you guys is really strong. I also want to say that your person is feeling a little bit let down by themselves as well. I want to add that to the mix because we've got over here the Five of Cups and Five of Swords. Rather than that just being your energy, there is an echoing energy here. And with the Nine of Wands kind of saying like I was at the end, like I was pushing away, I was on the chat, I've been hurt before, all of that shit. These cards at the bottom are saying... I'm actually like, you know, I've made these moves. I've made these choices. I've pushed away. I'm not deserving, you know, I'm not deserving of love. I've hurt people in the past and now I've hurt you. Um, so there is this kind of sense of regret that comes from it. So the regret is also why they're hiding from the situation at the moment. As things move forward with a little bit of time, this situation will reconnect with you. And let me just show you the Ten of Cups kind of crowning the reading over here. Um, the Ten will symbolise an ending and a new beginning. So you've got this dynamic between you guys of the cycle coming to a close but starting again with it being cups it's romance and when we're talking of the ten of cups it's a card of true love of true romance but new cycles within that romantic period and um, you have what was have a look you got two cups three swords and um, so you're missing some form of stability with this connection you might feel like it is a little bit unstable and um, it's definitely gone, took a more emotional route rather than a sexual route. So where you are at the moment, again, if you've been worrying about the passion between the two of you, is it the chemistry? It's not to do with that. They are really, really attracted to you. Uh, but that isn't, it's not the reason why they've pulled away. Okay. They've pulled away because they've been all up in their head and emotionally they let you in and they're like, oh, panic, panic, panic. They'll be back they'll be back if you need me uh drop me a message or uh email me mr at gmail.com all details are on the website or you can find me on instagram or facebook okay that's deck number one right let's do deck number two hello my love so if you just tapped in tuned in and turned on i was saying at the reading i am totally exhausted because hunter has been keeping me up all night um, and then i've been doing all this running for great ormond street so if you're interested in donating to the kids charity um at the moment it's on we've made 525 pounds but i'm not sure how much that is in dollars or uh any other currency we'd have to we'd have to look it up <laughs> but yeah 500 or 28 is something like that so we're doing really really well and um, i think the grand total the great ormond street for this charity uh for the council ward at the moment they've raised I saw it yesterday. I'm sure it was one seven zero something 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 something. And I said to my partner, I was like, "Is that 
he said it's 170,000 basically and a bit more. So we're all running, we're all finding it really, really hard. And if you want to support the cause, that's great. Um, also with readings, um, I am available for readings. So you can just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. And we are doing today, what is your person thinking about you? And I'm going into their energy to pull these cards. So... Two songs come in. So when I work, I work clairaudiently, which means I hear spirit. And when they give songs, it kind of comes through a radio dial. Okay, so it's like when you've got the radio on and you're tuning in, or those of you that are ghost hunters, it's like going through the EMF frequencies. It's like, and then you pick up the individual songs. So there are a couple songs here. Now, these won't resonate with all of you, actually. Spirit is saying the group is a little bit spit. Spit? Split. It's a little bit spit, is it? Ooh. It's a little bit split. So I got, um, say you love me. I'm hearing that. Say you love me. I also got, um, I hope you had the time of your life by Green Day, which was um, a very emotional song. Don't panic about that. If you're like, oh my God, what, 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 what? Don't panic over it. But there is this feeling of heaviness and sadness over it all at the moment between the two of you. Um, and that song might be relating to you. So if you're feeling a little bit sad and a bit low about it all. Um, let's get two more. So, yeah, I mean, your cards are relatively okay. It's quite an interesting bunch um, for you. Okay, so we've got let me tell you what you got you got the queen of swords you've got the four of wands you've got the three of uh three of swords you've got the six of swords and you've got the ace of cups so with these songs that have come in at the moment say you love me um and i'm also hearing um the one from the lion king i think it was from the lion king too which was about love um and i'm hearing as well that can you feel the love tonight so there was a very very great love between you guys but there was also a sense of heartbreak going on at the moment okay now with the song good riddance um coming up it is this kind of sadness that is coming from the situation you might feel that they've pulled away from you at this point in time don't worry, it will not last. In fact, they are still very much in your energy and there is still a very, very strong love between the two of you. So even though you might be feeling or they are feeling a bit heartbroken at the moment, with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands over here, it's talking about celebrations. We're talking about things moving forward, new beginnings, new romantic beginnings. So it, to me, this suggests that whatever's happened between the two of you, it's been extremely temporary. They are still very much in your energy. Um, if they are, you are experiencing that level of heartbreak and pain at the moment, again, it is temporary. It's going to bounce back. Um, and I've just got the song, yeah, by it was Sugar Cart. I'm bouncing off the walls again. Now, that could symbolise for some of you guys that perhaps there is a level of escapism here happening with your person. But Spirit just talking about the bouncing, okay? The relationship being bouncy. So it's almost like they're just showing me the ball bouncing across the floor. It's almost like you guys are just kind of playing ball and it going a little bit here and a little bit there. And you're both waiting for the situation to kind of bounce. You do, we talk about the word bounce for a second, you do bounce off each other's energy. You are very, very um, electric. And I just got electric dreams coming through with that. So what your person is thinking about you at the moment, there is currently a bit of heartbreak going on that is temporary. Could be done over something that was said or some kind of reaction going on. <clears throat> they are very, very much in love with you they very very much have strong feelings towards you um, and if they didn't you they wouldn't be kind of experiencing this pain in the heart chakra at this moment in time the two cards next to, next to it the four of wands and the ace of cups is showing these brand new beginnings that things can work out there is ideas for weddings there is ideas for love there is ideas for things changing moving forward and there is also an underlying sexual energy the Queen of Swords jumping out here. Okay, so this is suggesting with the cards going on, you would be in this Queen of Swords energy and the cards are suggesting that perhaps it's actually you that has upset them. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. It could be the other way around, but that's what the cards are suggesting, that perhaps something, something could have happened, a situation could have happened that's upset them, or perhaps it's something that you said or something that you did. 
okay now if you can't think of what it is just ignore and ignore it for a little bit and it'll come back around again so they are floating away from this at this point in time very very interesting with the six of swords at the moment could be travel could be physical things going on there could be a distance between the two of you long term uh, long distance relationship could be causing a bit of hey, pain travel or circumstances where they've had to pull away could be causing a bit of pain and heartbreak um that is where the energy is at so when I said at the start that it feels a little bit heavy, it's very, very short lived. If it hasn't already happened, you are very much on the road to recovery and moving things forward with them. So what are they thinking about you? They're seeing you in this very powerful energy. They're seeing that they can have a future with you. They're feeling a little bit heartbroken over circumstances. They're perhaps taking a bit of time out from the situation. They're thinking, well, I'll just have a little bit of time out and see what happens. But we have ideas for a future to build or meet up or whatever it is that you specifically want to do. So I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about hookups, friendships, everything along those lines. The potential is there for the future. It just needs a little bit of healing time. It's like a spirit just showing me a little black cat licking their wounds. They just need to lick their wounds for a little bit. And that's that number two. So uh, drop me a message if you need me, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. I have spaces for video readings. I have spaces for voice note readings. Um, voice note readings are same day or 24 hour turnaround at the moment. So get in while you can. They are only £10 per question as well. So um, really good deal over that. And uh, yeah, spaces for video readings is at the moment for next week. So that's quite a quick turnaround at that point in time as well, because we've been focusing so much on running. <laughs> I'm just like, run, 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 run. So yeah, there is some spaces available for next week. So if you want to read them quickly, drop me a message. All right, guys, love you. Ciao, ciao.